friends, welcome to our fourth day of distance learning in math. We are going to be working on our numbers and we're going to be working in our double 10 frames. So get your double 10 frames out and let's get started. All right, so just like we've been doing all week, let's start off by practicing counting to 20. I want you to make sure that you're following along so that you can start to put a name with a number. Follow along and count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Very good. Let's count the last ten numbers again because we're going to be focusing on these three numbers today. So let's count these last, the green numbers and the red numbers. Let's count those again. One, or 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Very good. Now today, friends, we, uh-oh, some of my marker got erased. Let's fix that. There we go. All right, our learning target for today is I can make 11, 12, and 13. Let's get started on that. We are going to be using, <coughs> excuse me, we are going to be using a double 10 frame. Now, the only thing that's different about a double 10 frame is instead of just having one 10 frame, you have two. Just like our Rec and Recs with the top and bottom, we have two 10 frames, 10 up here and 10 down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I have 20 total boxes here. Now, I have one 10 frame filled up. So how many dots do I have already on my double 10 frame? 10. I have 10 boxes filled. So I already have 10 dots. So if I wanted to make 11, let me write 11 for you. We have 11. Now, if I look at the number 11, I'm going to see that I have one 10, which I already have, and one 1. So how am I going to make 11 out of my double 10 frames? I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to think of an answer. All right, so let's take a look at it. We have 10, so we already have our 110, we've got that. Now we just need to add our one one. 10 and one more makes 11. 10 and one more makes 11. What if I wanted to make the number 12? What if I wanted to make the number 12? I'm going to give you 10 seconds to tell me how many I need to add to make the number 12. Did you get it? Let me give you the answer. I already have 10. 10, and I can count on. 10, 11, 12. Now, do I need to go back and count every single dot to make sure that it is 12? No. I can just know that my full 10 frame has 10 dots. I don't need to count those because there's already 10 dots in there. So if I counted them, I would just be wasting my time. I can just count on from 10. 10, 11, 12. I have one more question for you. What if I want to make the number 13? Let me write the number 13 up here for you. Here's the number 13. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to think about how many I need to add to get to 13. 
you can use your fingers and toes if you need to. Did you get it? We have to add three because we already have our 10, so we need to do three more. 10, 11, 12, 13. Great job. Remember to keep practicing those higher numbers, friends. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.